how do you only focus on one thing? How do people like get to that point, right? Well, how uh, do they find their superpower? How do they find that one thing to focus on? I think a lot of it is is good old fashioned trial and error. Yeah. I mean, uh, one of the things you said that was so powerful before: not only do you know what you're good at, you know what you're not good at. Well, just as important to know what you like is to know what you don't like. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't Absolutely. matter if you're talking about trying to find a career or trying to find a spouse. Like you need to know what you like and what you don't like. Right. And sometimes that's just trial and error. You know, that's why I encourage my own children to try as many different that's sports true. and activities as possible. And I say, look, if you sign up for baseball, if, if we sign you up, you're making the commitment to play the full season. Because right. if you're gonna start something, you're gonna finish it. If at the end of baseball season, if you don't like baseball, you don't ever have to play again for the rest of your life if you don't want to. But now you can check something off the list that, hey, I don't like this. Right. And exactly. when I look back on my own childhood, uh, I was very focused just on sport. I was not very well rounded. I never tried anything in the arts. You know, I didn't sing, I didn't play an <laughs> instrument, I didn't dance. I mean, it's funny thinking about if I had, but right. I didn't even try any of that stuff because all I wanted to do was play sports. And who knows, I may have liked that stuff. I might have found a hobby or something that I liked. So with my kids, I want them to try as many things as they mm -hmm. can. To find and, their passion. Yes, and anytime you can cross something off the list of this isn't my thing, that's a good thing. Because yeah. now you don't have to try it again. And you're actually, you're, right. you're narrowing the field down of what, what you will find. That's 100% true, right? So at the be so like you should be trying a ton of stuff at the, at, you know, the beginning or not the beginning. But at, at, when you're starting out kind yeah. of thing in life because that's how you really figure out and whittle down what you really want to do what you really like where your passion is because i think everyone does have passion within them it's about untapping it unlocking it and figuring out what it is absolutely because right? you don't want to do something for the rest of your life that you don't have passion for right i mean no, i to me i think anyone that does i, I feel bad for them no exactly I, I feel that you know but a vast majority of people that's what they do but right because they don't because they don't have a lot of times they're they're fearful of of trying yes and then that's what holds them back but then if when you have the passion right that's when you have the, that's when work ethic and discipline comes in right absolutely like even for you and i you know like in the let's just stay fitness wise sure. you know i like to run on a treadmill right i just do and no matter how much you know someone says oh you should try you know cycling or you yeah. should i'm like i don't like it so if I don't like it, guess what? I'm never doing it. I don't care. Even if I'm a fitness person, I'm highly motivated. Yes. I love being fit. I'm very active. I, I won't do what I don't like. And that's, yes. that's people. So For sure. that's why when you find what you like, you're going to end up doing it over and over and over again and get yes. better at it. Absolutely.